Hi friends, in this lecture, we will see how to create crawlers in Glue. So as part of creating crawler, we will create a IAM identity access management role and we'll create a database. So here I'm going to be uh, taking data store from S3, Amazon S3 service. There I have a uh, Zomato data where I can already upload it into S3. Then by using crawlers, I'm going to be crawl my uh, data store then my crawler will create the metadata tables in data catalog. Let's move on to AWS management console. There I have Amazon S3 uh, stories where I have already uploaded my Geomato file. So in the WBA the bucket, I have a geomato.csv which has the data. So it has a restaurant data, uh, which restaurant ID, city, address, locality, cuisines, and average cost for two members. So I have seven columns. Now I'm going to be create a crawler in Glue that can crawl you with a data store and create the metadata in catalog. Right, so here I'm trying to launch my uh, Glue here from analytics that will open your AWS Glue console. Once the console is open, now just move on to the crawlers. Here we can add crawler. Just click on add crawler that will ask your crawler name. So I'm trying to give here uh, Jomato data here. My crawler name is uh, Jomato. Then click on next. Here, where do you want to choose your data store from S3 bucket? It's a default one. So I have my S3 bucket in my same account. That's why the uh, first one is selected. And from here, you can select your respective file. From the browse option, select your respective folder, then select your respective CSV file and click on select. Right now, next, if you want to add another data store here, just click on S, else no. I'm placing no and move on to next. So in the choose an IAM role here, we need to provide an IAM role to access the IAM role allows the crawlers to run and access your Amazon S3 data stores. So for that, we need to create a role. Here I do have an existing role where I can choose that. If you want to create a new role, see here, in the same window, you, you can see IAM console here. Just select it and that will redirect you IAM management console. Here you can create a role. Click on create role. So where you want to create the role for glue, right? Select your glue here and click on next permissions. That will generate all the list of uh, permissions you do have here. I'm selecting default to full access here, administration access, next, and you can provide any of your name here. So glue access. And you can click on create role. That will create your IAM role. And just move on to your AWS glue console and select your respective IAM here from, choose an existing IAM role from the drop down list. Okay, now click on next. So the frequency of your crawler, how soon, uh, how frequent you want to run your crawler, either run on demand, hourly, daily, Tuesdays, weekly, monthly, custom. So at this point, I'm placing run on demand here and I click on next. Here, we need to provide the database where you want to create your tables. So I don't have any tables here. You can create your database directly here. So here I'm trying to providing my database name as a uh, I'm trying to place it as a food database where I can have food apps. So I am just click on create. That will create your food underscore apps database. So if you want to provide any prefix to your tables, you can provide any prefix here as click on next. So this is final review of your steps here. The crawler info, crawler name, then uh, data stores path, IM role name, schedule, output. Here, what is the database name and everything. So now just click on finish. Once you click on finish, that has created your crawler and status is ready. Now you want to run your crawler, right? Then you can click on run it now. That will run your crawler. So that will take one minute. Uh, just uh, have a look at here that attempting to run crawler Jomato. And that will give you one more pop-up now. Crawler Geomato is now running. The status moved on to 
starting. So let's wait for some time or till it is got completed. Right. Now the status moved on to ready. So you have to wait till the status got moved to ready. And if you want to refresh it, you can have a button here, refresh button. That will refresh and you can see the status here. So that has taken 54 seconds and tables added is one. Okay, now just move on to your uh, tables section here that has created a table called Zomato underscore CSV under the database food underscore apps and the location of the file is Zomato dot CSV. Okay, now just click on your table here and you can view a uh, table metadata here. So just click on edit table. See here in the table name, input format, output format. And if you can scroll down here, field delimiter is call, comma delimited. Now it has a skipped header line one, then it has a record count of 18 and classification is CSV file. Delimiter is comma delimiter. If you want to do any changes, you can do changes here and click on apply. I'm not going to be do any changes here. Now, if you want to view the schema of your table, you can click on edit schema here. See here that has created columns, restaurant ID, restaurant name, city, address, locality, cuisines, and the average cost for two members. That crawled your data from your CSV file and created metadata based on your data store. And if you want to add a new column here, you just click on add column. Or if you want to delete a column, you just click on any of the column here and you can delete it. So this is how the glue can crawl your data store and create the metadata tables in your data catalog.